What's up guys? So <clears throat> two days out, that's Friday today. Um, is this illegal? I'm not paying attention, I'm paying attention to the road. I was gonna go on a run today, um, just to like kind of stretch my legs out. Not very long, not doing 10 miles again, doing it's gonna do like a little like three to four mile. Uh, excuse me, three to four mile run today, but um, my shoes actually blew out, and by, I guess by, oh my goodness, sorry, I just ate, by blew out, um, I mean, part of the inside heel of my shoe, the fabric ripped, and part of it splintered, and it just is stabbing the back of my foot, um, I think it's just time for some new shoes, I think it's, I, I, I think, you know, I'll lay those ones to rest, I'll, br I'll bring them to the race, but I'm not going to wear them. Um, so I, I'm gonna get some new ones today Going out to um, Syracuse today Fix them up from Fleet Feet, which is You know awesome because I have to go get my bib and my jacket anyway for the for the race um, So I thought you know perfect. Why not? I'll go get some new shoes um, I was gonna do it tomorrow On um, the day before the race, but I'm not gonna run tomorrow and I want to be able to I want to be able to uh, to wear them in a little bit. I don't want brand new shoes day of the race um, It's not a good idea. So I'll, uh, I'll update you guys when I get to Fleet Feet, I guess I don't is this illegal if this is illegal um, Then this video didn't happen Still don't know if this is illegal or not do it anyway um, I'm leaving I got some sick freaking shoes um, got some $20 socks. I don't know why I bought them. Um, he was very persuasive. Okay. Um, no, I didn't know they were $20 until I bought them. So maybe I'll return them tomorrow. Um, because 20 bucks is a lot for Uncle Nicky here. Um, I thought I was going to spend like 60 bucks on shoes. It was 130 I mean, it is what it is. Like, I needed new shoes. What's up, guys? Okay, um... I'm upstairs in my house right now because both my parents um, tested positive and I test I tested negative and I cannot afford to miss uh, my marathon I don't I really don't want to so I'll, I'm staying up here in the in the the the, uh, the Thunderdome um, uh, for a few days until they're okay and you know luckily this is kind of like a living space up here i want to do a little swag update here okay so check out this thing by the way check out this dope hat so um you'll see it a lot because i love this hat already i've already been wearing it since i bought it this is the jacket that comes with the run the little fit check right it's got zipper pockets Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah yeah it comes with a it's got a sick little hood. What I like about it is how it's got, you, you can't really see it that well. It's got like a neck to it, but like the hood connects at a different spot. So it's still got the hood, but I'm not just like, you know, it still, it still has the neck, but the hood is separate. I like it. I really like it. Uh, let's get to the shoes. Let's get to the shoes. I'm super, so I'm, I'm super excited about this. Don't get me wrong. I'm. This is half the reason I wanted to do the marathon was to get this jacket. These. I better hope these are good. These are 130 bucks. Now these, I don't know what they're called. Nike, Nike Fresh or New Balance Fresh Foams. These things, they, they, oh my goodness. They're like two pounds, like, it's nothing. It's Friday night right now. Um, I think that's it for the. I think that's it for the drip. Honestly, though, Walmart sweatpants go hard. So I got another. I got another pair. They're like they're like eight bucks, and these are my favorite sweatpants that I own. Um, they go for like any occasion. So right now, got some boots on. Um, got a headlamp. Cause your boy is about to go walk around outside. It's 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 uh, it's dark out as you can see. 
Uh, we're gonna go just walk around outside. I gotta say, this is really peaceful. I thought you can even see me. This is really peaceful, but it's really creepy looking into the woods and seeing a bunch of eyes poking back at me. A little creepy, not gonna lie. If I put it right there, you can see me. I legit had a, hold on, oh, there we go. I legit had a stare down with something. Something, I don't know what. So I had to stare down with something for, I don't know, like five minutes. I don't, I don't know, I think it was a cat, maybe maybe a, maybe a trash panda, I don't know. It's getting weird out here, it's getting weird. All right guys, it is 9.13 p.m. the night before. Um, wow, so we are 10 hours out. I, my hair is disgusting, let's put this back on. You're 10 hours out from the race. Um, I just smashed down some food. Protein shake right here. I'm gonna hop in the, I'm gonna hop in the shower. Um, wake up at four. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wake up at four, have a breakfast bowl. Um, do some like stretches, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna do most of my stretching there. Um, then I'm making protein ice cream tomorrow morning uh, because that's what I did. That's what I did Thursday for my 10 mile run and I felt fantastic, like carb loading kind of. Um, so I'm having protein ice cream, leaving here at 5.30 um, so that I should get there about 6.30. Um, an hour before the race. I'm just so, I'm so pumped. I got my clothes ready right here. I'm going to a friend's house after. I'm just so excited. I gotta go shower. I, I gotta go shower. Hopefully I can get some sleep tonight. I'm so pumped. Pants are coming off. All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is, it is. 3.58 right now, I think. Morning of. Um, 3.47, pretty early. Um, could not sleep last night. Just really excited. Just really excited for today. Could not sleep. Um, then go shower, uh, brush my teeth, uh, make breakfast, make protein ice cream, uh, make sure I triple, double, quadruple check to make sure I have all of my bags, everything that I need, and then. I'm gonna leave here at a little about five. I'll see you guys in one final final send off for right before I or before I leave, okay? Okay. Deuces. Man, I mean like obviously I'm so excited for the race, but I am I think maybe a little more excited for tonight when I can just like sleep. I'm so I'm like, anyway, I just wanted to say that because that's what I'm talking, feeling right now is, man, I would love to just go back to bed. But anyway, it's going to be a great day today. I'm, oh my goodness. Anyway, see you guys. I just wanted to say that. Okay, we are, it is 510 right now. About to hop in the whip head to the race um it's so two so two and a half hours before the race i got my ice cream right here in a tupperware dish so i can eat while i'm driving don't tell anybody um i'm like feeling good i'm feeling like once i get there and get like stretched out i'm gonna feel a lot better I'm feeling a little i'm still tired a little bit but like my breakfast was delicious <sighs> 
it tasted so good. So that was good. My ice cream is obviously delicious. Anyway, um, it's gonna rain, which reminds me I should grab a sandwich bag for my phone. Um, so I, if it rains, I'm not gonna record during the race because then my phone will be in a sandwich bag. Uh, but I'll try to record before and after, okay? I'm gonna go eat this ice cream, drive to Syracuse. Doses. All right, I'm here. I'm here. I'm headed in right now. Oh, I found the porta potties. Okay. Be right back. Um, so I forgot to give you guys that kind of update. Um, out of 10, I, I'm like a nine right now. I'm a little nervous because I've never run, ever ran a race not like in the woods. So when I have to pee, I was just able to pee. But I'm gonna be in the city, so I can't just like pee whenever I want, which is kind of a little nerve wracking. But it's gonna be okay. Um, just trying to find a space to put my bag, my coat during the race, because I don't want to have to go back to my car. It's cold outside. Um, yeah, update. I feel like physically fantastic my ankle is still like a little injured like because my shoes broke the other day and I kind of scraped my ankle I still have a little bit of a little bit of a blister on the my back left heel back left as opposed to my, my front heel yeah um, so yeah I'm feeling good um, I have a three musketeers in here as for after the race. So yeah, I'm gonna go try to find a place to put my bag and put on my bib and we'll go from there. festivities will be happening. I do see stage left. It looks like there's some water out there if you need
like three times. Um, I got more water. I'm gonna try to not chug this. So I don't have to pee like a fifth time. Yeah. Okay, we're 10 minutes out. We got people all over the place. We're 10 minutes out. Um, I drank all the water that I'm allotting myself because I keep peeing. Um, so I'm just gonna warm up like these people are. Try to get maybe a violin, something. You know, first mile sucks. Anyway, okay. I might record during the race, I might not. Uh, maybe I'll see you after the race, but. Oh my God, I can't believe it's finally here. I can take some pictures, don't worry. Coming up on coming up on four miles. I'm tired. Okay. Fifteen kilometers. Nine and a half miles. A little under four left. My ankle hurts, but I'm okay. All right, just finished. Michael Shen, Anthony Petrucca. I really wish someone could have recorded my finish. I was, I was moving. Um, later tonight, I'll give like a whole breakdown of what happened. But right now, I'm just exhausted. I want a monster, a sea monster. I want donuts. I want everything. So, yeah. What's up guys, we're still up in the quarantine dungeon away from my family and my mom. My dad is out of quarantine, but my mom still has a few days left. So we're still up in the in, in the battle dome. So day after the race, I'm feeling good. Let's see if we can put you against a pool ball. Nope, it's not gonna set. Okay. It's day after the race. I'm feeling good. My knees and quads are going down the stairs. Um, which sucks that this is um, upstairs. I wish I didn't have to go upstairs every time I wanted to do something. Uh, luckily there is a bathroom, so we're good. Anyway, I'm going on a grocery haul because I start work tomorrow and I just want to get some uh, meals ready for the week. So I'm gonna do a big meal prep thing. I will uh, see you when I get back. I'll do like a little haul of everything that I got. I already have some stuff from last week that I still have, I'm gonna use. Like I still have like cabbage um, and onion. I wanna use and a bell pepper that I'm gonna use for this stuff. I'm gonna have my breakfast scramble. Uh, I'm gonna just make that for the week. Uh, so I'm gonna make four servings of that. Um, it's Monday today. And make four, four or five servings of like a lunch and then a dinner. Um, just have everything ready, don't have to make anything else. Um, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna write it out. Make sure I have buy everything. I don't know. I'm thinking like a turkey, a turkey taco bowl for like lunch, and then I don't know something for dinner. I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll get there, and we're gonna buy some extra stuff. So I'll see you guys when we get back. 
Um, gonna do a lot of editing today, try to get my second video out this week. Um, I'm gonna record an episode of my podcast, which I don't think I've mentioned yet. I have a podcast called Speak Yogurt, uh, where I just talk about basically anything. Uh, this week's episode, it'll be episode two. It's just gonna be about my race and like kind of the background experience um, surrounding everything that went into my marathon. What, you know, what I did when I was there, how it went, what goes on after, um, a little more behind the scenes uh, than you see in the actual YouTube video. So check that out. Um, that'll it's probably already out by the time I post this video. So yeah, just check it out. I'll see you guys when I get back. Those are Okay, what's up guys? So I'm back from the grocery haul. Got some stuff right here I'll show you. So I got some hot sauce. Um, I love putting this on my, on my breakfast, uh, the breakfast bowls. It's delicious. Uh, for protein, uh, I am a turkey boy at heart. So I got two things of turkey bacon and ground turkey. I had some chicken in the fridge, so I'm gonna use that for some meals. Um, can of black beans, I already had some black beans. Uh, just kind of got one more can. Some reduced fat Mexican style cheese. This is for the turkey bowls that I'm gonna make for lunch this week. Um, this isn't protein, but I found these these mugs. And these are, the, these are similar or the same mugs that, um, Will Tennyson uses them and, or he did at some point and I saw them in his video and for the past like week, I just, I really wanted them. Um, and I saw them, this is all from Aldi by the way. I, I saw them and I'm like, I have to get them. So I got these for my coffee. Speaking of my coffee, I got some sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer. I'm trying to move to just black coffee, um, but until we get there, this stuff, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do fat-free or sugar-free. Um, so I just did sugar-free. I don't know. There was only a five calorie difference. So hopefully not much of a taste difference. So, so moving on to veggies, uh, I got mini cucumbers. These are for um, the, the, these are for the turkey bowls and just for other things. Um, these are also for the turkey bowls, some, some bell peppers. I got, Two things of peas. This is for my breakfast, um, my breakfast egg bowl. Um, got some Brussels sprouts for that egg bowl. Um, I'm making some shredded chicken right now in the uh, slow cooker. So these are for like the little pizzas I like to make for dinner. Usually pretty uh, high protein in those. Um, in, in those pizzas. These are only 60 calories um, and it's, they've got six grams of protein themselves. Um, 60 calories per, per thing. I bought an entire butternut squash, but I left it in the car downstairs and I don't want to go get it. So pretend like I'm holding a butternut squash here. I'll try to edit a butternut squash in. Boop, butternut squash. Um, so yeah, that's it for that's it for the grocery haul. I'll let you guys know what I what I decide to do. And I will show you guys the uh, final product. Okay, doses. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do an update on Sunday. So it is now it is now Monday or Tuesday night, uh, the 22nd, and that was the 20th. So I'll get, I want to kind of give you a little bit of a, you know, uh, a recap on how Sunday went, um, how I feel, how I feel now, how I felt. So we'll start off with Saturday night when I went to go to bed. It was, um, I got back from the movies at about nine and I ate dinner. And then I went to bed at around 9.30. And I didn't end up falling asleep until 10.30, past 10.30 actually. 
So I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to. I got, I think, uh, four and a half, five hours of sleep. Isn't ideal, but it's not gonna kill you if you do it, if, if it happens one night, you know? So going into Saturday, going into Sunday morning when I woke up at, I forgot what time I woke up. I think I woke up at, I, I honestly forget. I remember that first day, four o'clock maybe. Anyway, I woke up. I felt great. Um, I recorded. I recorded that that uh, that morning. So you have you've seen that by now. Um, I felt great. I went down. I cooked breakfast. It was delicious, like, like always. And I made the ice cream. Um, I ate that on the way. And I got everything with me. I was feeling good. Um, the night before, during the movie, I ate a bunch of gummy worms and. M&M's, which I shouldn't have, uh, because I'll get to that later. I got there at 6.30. I actually parked right next to uh, the starting line, and I, we started at 7.53, so I had a little over, I had a little over an hour um, to just chill. So I walked in, I, you know, I walked around, I won um, this shirt a mountain goat shirt, um, which is a race I'm gonna do in May, actually. It's a 10K, um, I think it's 10K, 10 miles? 10 miles, it's 10 miles all uphill, basically. Anyway, um, so I got that. Yeah, I just walked around. There was an orange, or an orange theory fitness thing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. There's an orange theory thing right before we started, um, just like to warm up the body and everything. And then, so I'm already, I'm a little, a little nervous. Of course, I've already went to the bathroom probably eight times to pee and, I, and, and, and to, you know, go number two. I've already done that like, like, like three times already because I'm nervous and the gummy worms and the M&Ms are kind of coming back and get me. Um, because I've eaten clean the past two weeks, I haven't really had much candy. I eat so much candy in one, in one night because I was just watching a movie and like, you know what, I'm carb loading. But like those aren't, those, those aren't the kind of carbs that you want. Um, for anybody doing any races, um, you do want a carb load, but you want um, clean carbs um, the night before and the morning of, if it's not a super early race. Um, clean carbs would be basically not like table sugar. It, it, it's, it's the same chemically in your body like any kind of like simple carb is the same in, in, inside of your body to a certain degree, but eating just like sour sugar on gummy worms and M&Ms is different than like having a bowl of pasta or maybe some oats. Like it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a little different. There's absolutely zero fiber on the candy. There's a little bit of fiber to help you digest and you know regulate your digestion differently. Um, so that's what I wouldn't recommend is eating candy the night before. Um, but it didn't end up like making, it didn't end up like ruining the race for me. So we get outside and um, luckily there was a bag check because uh, I, didn't, I didn't have any like th anywhere to put anything. Um, Cause I'm running, there's no one there but me. It was pretty easy. I mean like overall it was pretty easy but it was also really hard like the entire race the first after the first mile was all uphill um so that wasn't very nice if you're watching this whoever plans the route for the syracuse half marathon you're mean um that's not nice the first mile is not nice it's all uphill and it's like it just like beats in you and the biggest thing and this is some more advice for anybody thinking about you know, doing any kind of a long distance run, right? Even a 5K, anything. You're not racing the people around you. That was the biggest thing that I had to get through my head, which I already know. But the biggest thing I had to get through my head is that I'm not racing the people around me. These people, they don't mean anything to me right now. What matters is keeping my pace, especially going 13.1 miles. Keeping a steady pace is so, so, so important. The people around you don't matter. Just run, stay out of your head, stay in your head, stay out of their head, and just and just run. Um, so the night before, I thought, you know, I want to get sub two hours. Um, and then after, when I started running, I realized how unrealistic that is because I, I trained for a 10 minute mile pace 
and that would have to be a nine minute and six second mob nine minutes six second mile pace so shaving off a minute per mile is like isn't as realistic as i thought in the moment but it was something to drive me a little bit um i still by the end of the race i still got my two main goals which was to keep a 10 minute mile pace i had a 935 mile pace on average of the entire race and i did not stop running no matter what i did not stop running even during those race when those sour patch kids and i mean those, those gummy worms and those m ms were, were knocking at the back door i'm not joking <laughs> My stomach was rumbling. Um, even when my knees legitimately felt like they were about to break, I didn't stop. Even when my feet had felt like people were like stabbing the bottom of them because they were so, so, so sore, I still didn't stop running. And of course, I probably, like my slowest, like instantaneous pace was probably like an 11 mile, 11 minute mile, right? But I sped up when I realized how slow I was going and I just kept at it, kept at it. Um, yeah, I think there were seven water stations and I took water from two of them um, because during, while I'm running, if I drink more water, it sloshes around in my stomach. And I wish somebody would have recorded my finish kick because I was sprinting. I was going so, 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 so fast. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I wish I would be my literally my only regret for the entire race is that I would have started my finish kick sooner um because I, I had more in the tank when it comes to like that sprint um I could have doubled the distance because I was just like I was acting in pure instinct I couldn't feel my legs anymore regardless so um it didn't matter um it felt really good to finish though uh, my knees felt like they were gonna break my ankles hurt hold on I'll show you the swag that I got Okay, so here's my medal. This is this this is the medal that I got for for, for completing the 5K and the half marathon itself. Um, this this is the medal I got for first place. No, this is the medal that I got. Um, this is what I won with that shirt. Um, I think this is a this is a completion medal for the Mountain Goat, which I haven't ran, um, but it's bottle opener as well. I don't really drink, so don't really need it. Um, I bought this jacket. So they they had like a sale where you could do you could buy like pretty much like last year's or the, the previous years or something like that for like five dollars. So this this jacket was ten dollars. Um, and this, all these clothes are right next to me because I'm still up in the battle dome. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, this quarter zip, which I love, cause it's got it's got the what you want to call it? Where is it? It's got the thumb hole while like you're running. So this is gonna be great when I when I go when I'm running again, like in the fall when it's a little chilly out. And this is like the main jacket. This is the main jacket that I got for the run. Um, it's a little like heavier than the other one. Um, I really, really, really like it. The only thing is I wish I had my name on it, but you know, 2000 people do the race. What I'm saying is that there's 2000 people in the race. So um, they're not gonna individualize each one. Um, my phone died, so um, I'm gonna try to go over what I was talking about. Um, let me repeat some stuff um, because I just, I did this whole thing and my phone died, so I'm gonna try and repeat it. Um, I forgot really what I said, but anyway, I think what I was saying is that, so after the race, um, I went and got some like chocolate milk and some bananas. I had breakfast food and um, I pretty, pretty much I ate a lot. Right? I ate a lot, and then I I went and got sushi with my friend afterwards, and I just chilled, went home. Um, I fell asleep on the couch at ten thirty. Woke up at eight thirty the next day. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm rested now. So 
now two days later, the only thing that really hurts is my left toe. Oh, my, to the left of my big toe, my left foot is, the toe is black and blue. Nope, I lied. The toenail is like black. Uh, it might, might lose it, I don't know. In my right foot, right here on my foot is, uh, it feels like it needs a crack. And I, I assume that'll, I assume that'll go away at some point in the next few days. Uh, who knows? <laughs> I hope so. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of it. I'm really excited. Uh, my next race is going to be either the Mountain Goat or just like a, a 5k. I'm really excited for the next race, whatever it is, I'm going to keep training. This has really got me pumped because I had such a good time overall. Um, yeah. I, I had a, I really enjoyed it. So I'm looking for looking forward to the next one. Um, so that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Um, I do kind of like unedited content where I kind of just ramble, and hopefully it's at least somewhat interesting. Um, yeah, I love doing this. I love supporting you guys. I love you guys supporting me. So. Catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully my phone is not dead. Uh, so yeah, love you guys. Peace.